Welcome to the Young Turks. Obviously, we've got one huge issue to discuss here, and it is the George Zimmerman verdict. Now, originally, when uh, the George Zimmerman situation came up, obviously, after he shot Trayvon Martin, the problem wasn't necessarily Zimmerman. Now, what do I mean by that? Uh, to me, the great injustice was what the cops did. Now, you had a 17-year-old black kid who was unarmed, shot by this guy named George Zimmerman, who took it upon himself to do some sort of watch in his community, whether it was authorized or not. But, okay, things go wrong, you get into fights, they go south, and then you're going to figure out if what Zimmerman did is right or wrong. But what the cops decided to do was not to do a toxicology report on Zimmerman to see if he was high or drunk or if he'd done something wrong, which is what you usually do when someone shoots someone, right? And they didn't do a criminal background check on him. Instead, they did something really unusual. They did a criminal background check on the 17-year-old kid who was shot. They did a toxicology report on the kid who was shot. To me, that was the outrage. And they did not arrest Zimmerman for 44 days. To me, what that said was, the authorities, the government responsible there in that local community, assumed that Trayvon Martin, the 17-year-old African-American kid, was guilty. And that he, what, he had it coming? I guess, if you say the guy who shot him was justified, so justified I won't even arrest him, and I won't even investigate his background, you're saying, I thought the 17-year-old kid had it coming. That's what we were mad about. And if they had looked into Zimmerman's background, what they would have found that it turns out that he had been arrested for assaulting a police officer. Could be rele relevant in an investigation on whether you arrest a guy who has just committed an act of violence where he shot a kid in the chest and killed him. And he was the one pursuing the kid, and we all know that because he called it in. And on dispatch, you have him saying, I'm going to go and I'm following him, and dispatch saying, don't do that. Now those are two critical pieces of information. Then you would have also found out that he had been suspected of domestic, and accused of domestic violence by a former girlfriend. You would have also found out that a younger female cousin of Zimmerman had accused him nearly of two decades of sexual molestation and assault, and that that same cousin of Zimmerman, cousin of Zimmerman, said that in the family, they constantly had racist talk where Zimmerman's mom, for example, the Peruvian, the one that he gets all the credit for making him Latino, would often talk derisively of African Americans. But you didn't do any of that investigation. That's what we were mad about. Now you go to trial, and a trial is what it is. You have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt. Now if you looked at that trial, and you didn't see every minute of it, the jury did, right? And we got a jury system, and to a large degree we have to trust. If you want to change it, that's a separate matter, right? So if you say to me after the jury trial, look, you weren't there, you weren't there when Zimmerman and Trayvon got in the altercation. You weren't there for every minute of the trial. And apparently the jury thought that he was not guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. It doesn't mean he's innocent. It just means by law they couldn't prove that he was guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. I hear you. I understand. I, I don't agree. I think it was a clear case of manslaughter. But I understand what you're saying is a perfectly reasonable argument. But if you then go further and say, oh, Trayvon definitely started the fight. But wait a minute, I thought you said I wasn't there. We weren't there. How would, that I can't possibly know. Well, then how do you know Trayvon started the fight? Unless you assume the dead 17-year-old kid is guilty and Zimmerman must be correct. But why do you assume that? Why do you assume that? So now, I, originally I was mad at the p police and the authorities. Zimmerman is who he is. You, know, you can make any judgment you like, and the jury decided he was not guilty. But now, I'm more mad at the people supporting Zimmerman. Uh, like, the guys who made me livid were the ones celebrating the acquittal. What are you celebrating? What are you celebrating? Ha ha, he killed that 17 year old kid and got away with it? Is that the celebration? How do you know Zimmerman didn't start the fight? My God, he was clearly the aggressor. You have to be either stupid or biased not to understand that. Look, Gary Young wrote a great article in The Guardian, pretty much nailed exactly what I was thinking. He said, look, let's rev review the things that are indisputable. He said, quote, Zimmerman pursued him armed with a 9mm handgun, believing him to be a criminal about Trayvon. Martin resisted, and that's what the Zimmerman fanboys love. Oh, yeah, Martin resisted. He shouldn't have resisted. Now, what is he supposed to do? Look, i got to be honest with you. i got a black godson, right? What am I supposed to teach him? That if anybody comes up to you and they chase you, whether you know they have a gun or not, and they're stalking you, are you supposed to beg them immediately? Are you supposed to arm yourself? What are you supposed to do? 
Are you supposed to fight back? Not supposed to fight back. If you fight back, he can execute you, and then everybody assumes you're guilty. If you don't fight back, maybe he executes you anyway. He's the one stalking you. Does anyone believe that Trayvon Martin got, went into Zimmerman's home and was like, hey, Zimmerman, come on out, because I'd really like to have you follow me with a 9 millimeter gun, and then once I'm scared for my life, something goes wrong, and then I, I know I don't ha have any weapons, and I'd like to give you that enormous advantage in that fight. Please follow me through the neighborhood as I go to my dad's house. Who believes that? You can't possibly believe that unless you're enormously stupid or enormously biased. I'm being kind by saying biased. I won't be so kind in a second, probably. So Zimmerman shoots him dead. Then Gary Young makes another great point. He said, there is no doubt who the aggressor was here. Now, how can you say Trayvon was the aggressor? You have the call, you have the evidence. Zimmerman called it in, saying, I'm following him. Dispatcher says, don't follow him. He follows him, he's got the gun. Did Trayvon think, I'm going to take on a gun, I'm going to go out, look to see if there's a night watchman, and if there is, I hope he's got a gun, because I'm not armed, and I'd love to pick a fight for them? No, you have to be monumentally stupid or biased to believe that. Gary Young says, what version of events is there for that night in which Martin gets away with his life, or is it open season on black boys after dark? And that's the thing I go back to, and I, as I think about my godson, what am I supposed to tell him? What could he have possibly done? I know what, uh, again, the Zimmerman fanboys who disgust me said. Because Zimmerman is a whole different thing. He got in that altercation and maybe he's the world's largest wimp and he got scared for his life after he started the fight and shot the kid, right? But if you're a fan of Zimmerman, you're a special kind of sick. It's one thing to say the jury system worked. It's another thing to be excited and happy about Zimmerman, right? So as I think about Zimmerman following Trayvon, and if Trayvon is my cousin or anybody, or, or you're a black family out there, you got kids out there, they're 17, they're 19, whatever they are, they, you know what, they're human beings who go out at night. What are you supposed to do, shutter them in, put them in the basement? If you go out, the fanboys say, no, as Zimmerman is chasing him down, Trayvon had the temerity to fight back some But they're convinced that the insanity, the insanity of this defense, as Zimmerman said, I can't believe anybody ever believed this. Now you can believe everything else, again, not guilty beyond a reasonable doubt, I understand. But you really believe that Zimmerman is chasing him, as we have tape and evidence of, he's armed, he's chasing him, and then decides mid-chase, nah, forget about it, I'll go back to my car. And then Trayvon, as, and we have evidence of the call where he's saying, I gotta run, etc. And by the way, Zimmerman, speaking of whether he had any racial bias or not, said he had to follow Trayvon Martin because he was moving unusually slow. Now, if you're moving unusually fast, they say he's running from something. Well, he must be a burglar, he must be a thief, he must be a thug, because he's running from something. If you move too slow, you're also a thug. Gee, I wonder if it's the slow or the fast moving, or perhaps the kid's race. Oh, I know, I'm the bad guy for bringing up race, right? But the fanboys of Zimmerman say, no, we know, we know, Zimmerman in mid-chase must have turned around, gone back to his car, and then Trayvon, who wasn't armed, decided that he was going to ambush, he was going to turn the chase around and ambush Zimmerman. How could you possibly know that? And how stupid are you that you would believe such a flimsy, ridiculous excuse? Now, if you say, hey, listen, Zimmerman went after him, they got in a fight, Trayvon got the upper hand, that we don't know. That's reasonable. If you say Trayvon chased him down and you know it, you're either stupid or you're biased, but far more likely, let's keep it real, you're racist. Because you make the assumption, and this is the most important thing, and if you've ever called Trayvon Martin a thug, or you know someone who's called him a thug, guaranteed that person is a racist. You don't like it, oh, boo-hoo, boo-hoo, he said racist. Why do you call the kid a thug? Why do you call the kid a thug? He's a 17-year-old, he's not armed. We got Zimmerman's brother talking about he could have been armed. Your brother was armed. Your brother's the thug. Your brother's the one that took the MMA training. He's the one that looked for a fight that night. But you call Trayvon a thug? The only reason to call him a thug, the only reason to assume that everything Zimmerman said is true, even though it doesn't make sense, is because you think, well, he's black. He must have been a thug. He must have started the fight. That's because you're racist. It's not to say that, hey, if the jury can acquits them, they're racist. No, it doesn't mean that. There's a lot of different ways to go. But if you're celebrating Zimmerman and you're saying that Trayvon is definitely a thug, that's exactly what you are. And finally, Young nails it. He says, let's go back to what Zimmerman said on that dispatch call. He said, referring to Trayvon Martin, fucking punks, these assholes, 
they always get away. And ironically, that's exactly what happened, but not with Trayvon Martin, with George Zimmerman. If you don't understand why we have a sense that there's no justice today, you're not paying attention because you don't want to pay attention. You only want to see things from your own perspective. And you don't care to see how African American families and other families in this country think about, Jesus, how am I going to send my kid out in this world? You don't want to see that. And I need you to look into your own heart and soul and look into the mirror and see why am I thinking these things? I know you're going to be defensive about it if you're in that camp and you have that view. But just for a second, assume, just think, why did I assume Trayvon is guilty? Why did I believe everything Zimmerman said when the facts are one guy was the aggressor, he had the gun, the other guy was a 17-year-old kid, you can say he's large, etc., etc. But the reality is the cops made assumptions that night, the authorities have made assumptions all throughout this, I, and I'm, for the eighth time, I'm not blaming the jury because it's beyond a reasonable doubt. That's a different standard, right? But the people who love Zimmerman are rejoicing in this. Why are you making your own assumptions? Don't kid yourself. You know why. Young Turks.